All right, folks, y'all can see it's a rainy, overcast day. Uh, it ain't real cold. It's probably about 67 degrees. Really, that's comfortable for me. Just now, it really started raining. And I'm fishing with an underspin right there. Once again, why? Wow. Well, I've been catching some good ones on it. Whoa! This underspin, folks, is getting the job done. I've, I've already caught three big old crappie. I mean big ones. And these fish are about, all of them's been anywhere from 16, 16 inches to around two feet deep because of these of this weather conditions right here we're facing. And these fish are super, super shallow. I mean, they've pushed up super shallow. Um, most of the water that I've been fishing hadn't been over two and a half to three feet deep. Real shallow. And uh, I've been waiting for this opportunity because this is a perfect time to fish an underspin. Although an underspin will work most all the time, but this is where it really shines. I just missed the fish right then. Doggone it. This blade is the deal. They're, they're seeing it from, from underneath. They're seeing that spinning. And this color right here, sharp truce and pink, like I've said already, is extremely, extremely um, a great color is what I'm trying to say. A uh, visible to the crappie conditions like this. I'm a little bit excited because the way I modify these underspins, which I'm going to show y'all at the end of the video, makes it perfect. Makes it perfect for what we're doing right here. You can catch fish after fish after fish. Just a slow, steady wind cannot be beat. <clears throat> what do we got right here? Whatever it is is pulling. I mean hard. Look here, what a crappie. My, 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 a crappie in the rain that's a big one right there i want y'all to look they now that is a darn good one right there now hey whoa i want y'all to look what a doggone big crappie by ned that's a good one and that's the way i'm gonna start it off with in the rain okay let's let him go oh boy what a crappie that's a super slab right there this is a 1 16th of an ounce under spin but it really isn't i've modified it to be a 1 32nd ounce roadrunner with a z-man bait on it right now it's overcast it's raining so I'm using this color right here. It's an electric chicken, 1.75. Comes in an eight pack, micro finesse. Z-Man bait right here. Shad Fry Z is the name of it. Okay, 1.75, inch and three quarter long. And I'm gonna tell you what, this bait right here may be a perfect bait. Look what a tail action. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can see that. I've got a tight wiggle right here. And then I got flash right here. And of course, I've got a visible color. This is a great color for this situation right here. Dark, overcast, rainy. I'm fishing with eight pound test fluorocarbon line. This is tied with a loop knot onto the eyelet. And I'm this is eight pound test braid, high vis braid. And I'm using a Johnny Morris 2000 size reel with 
a six and a half foot crappie slayer made by Duckett. Duckett rods, light action rod. And that fish was right out there. Shaller, you talking about shaller. There he is. Boy, that fish knocked a fire out of it, folks. I'm not kidding. Let me tighten my drag up just a little bit. That's a good crappie right here. Another good one. Golly, I can't tell y'all how that fish hit that bait. Let's flip him in here. That's a big son of a gun. My, my, my. I want y'all to look what a crop it. Okay. I'm going to throw my marker out right here. Just for reference. Because these fish are really scattered. And that's what happens when you have a lot of... Oop, that just fell, fell out. When you have a lot of rain, a lot of overcast conditions, um, things of that nature, it'll scatter these old big fish out. That's a good fish right there. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. These fish are scattered up like nobody's business. But they're doing the same thing, or the shallow water crappie do the same thing as bass do. Conditions like this where they scatter out and they get real shallow. So they're doing exactly what a crappie woo does. Let's let him go. There he goes. All right, folks, the rainstorm, well, it's past. So right now is a great opportunity uh, for me to show y'all what I'm talking about, how to modify this bait right here to catch more crappie in shallow water. All right, folks, let me show you how these these come now this is a 1 16th of an ounce road runner and this is how they come right here just like that what i'll do and it's real simple is i'll cut let me get something right here to point this out probably these scissors okay i will cut the lead off of this bait right here right there at the top of my scissors i'll remove from right here down with a pair of side cutters. Okay, folks, let's look at this. Uh, we can get a better view of what I'm talking about. Right here is a 132nd of an ounce Roadrunner, and that's a great one to use. Now, it has a size um, 6 hook, which is a good one for bluegill. It's a good one for crappie, too. But now, the reason why... I like this 1 16th of an ounce a little bit better is because I can use these bigger baits, like this Z-Man bait right here, two-inch baits. But to fish in shallow water, this is what I'm talking about. Here's a pair of side cutters. Y'all ignore my, my fingernails and my hands. I'm a carpenter, so my hands ain't real pretty. But I'm, what I do is I cut I cut this Roadrunner right here, the head off right here, and half of that lead is going to get cut off, reduces the weight of the bait, and it makes it a lot easier to fish in shallow water. You can reel a lot slower, and you'll get more strikes, but that's what I do. Let's see if I can keep my old big hands in frame. Yeah, and just cut this off. Y'all, excuse me. Having a little bit of trouble keeping everything in frame. But y'all get the gist of it. There it is. I snipped it off. Okay. So, now, of course, for those of y'all who's been watching the channel, you know that I take dental floss and wrap around the shank of the hook then after I do that, I rig my bait and then use Loctite. 
super glue. Ultra gel control. Makes a big difference. You can do more fishing. Uh, the, the bait will not slip down after you glue it like that. You can focus on your fishing a lot better and you don't have to keep readjusting your bait. But there it is, folks. It's very, very important. And I don't use dental floss that has wax. Non-wax dental floss, folks. Once you do that, hey, you got a permanent bond after you rig that bait. And you can reel this bait right here a lot slower in shallow water, thus catching more crappie. Because remember, a slow presentation when it comes to crappie is very, very important. There he is. That fish nipped at that bait three or four times. At least. At least. That's a big doggone crappie. That is a sow cow. Let's net him real quick. Torrential downpours and big crappie. I want y'all to look what a fish. That is a monster crappie. Well, he's pretty big. <laughs> That's a good fish right there, folks. I'm catching fish. I'm having fun. Let's let him go. Let him go. That's a big fish. Well, folks, I'm going to say this. This little bait right here, this little Z-Man bait, may be the ultimate. They're tough. Y'all know how it is when it comes to Elastec. You can catch one fish after another without tearing it up. This may be my favorite bait. I'm gonna look for some more colors, but I'm gonna tell you what, I'm catching some good fish with it. They're not tearing it up because I have it glued just like I glue my crappie jigs. And I'm gonna tell you, that little tail has got what it takes. Let's catch another one. That old boy, I'll tell you what, he don't never cut them hair out of his nose, and I can't stand to be around him when he's got them old black hair hanging out there about a half inch. There he is. Boy, that fish hit that. I got him caught funny or something, folks. <laughs> Let's flip him in here. My goodness. He hit it that and missed it. And I caught him anyway. Not in the eye, so that's good. I just skin hooked him right there. Beautiful crappie. Still caught him. Look how wide that fish is, folks. My, 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 my. Let's let him go. This ain't nothing but a blessing to be out here. Today, there's no doubt, it's nothing but a blessing to be out here anytime. I was lucky, 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 but the only way I can get these fish to bite is making a cast and just a steady retrieve. Just like that, just under the surface, anywhere from a foot to 16 inches. All right, folks, I'm going to get on out of here. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments, everything y'all do for this channel. Hey. Oh. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.